Hello and welcome to your first virtual lesson in National 5 PE. In order for you to complete this lesson, you will need the assignment open on Google Classroom from the week beginning the 18th of May 2020. Throughout the lesson, you will be asked to pause the video so you can answer some questions. You can use links in the presentation from Google Classroom to access videos on YouTube. There are four main factors we will focus on over the next four weeks. They are mental, emotional, social and physical. We are going to be looking at mental factors. Please pause the video now to read the learning intention and success criteria. The two mental factors we will look at today are concentration and motivation. Pause the video and have a think about what Tiger Woods is concentrating on as he hits his drive. What is Kylian Mbappe's motivation, which has led to him becoming a world-class footballer? The next step is to answer question one on Google Classroom. You can see in the bottom right corner that uh, what it'll look like on the assignment. The question asks you to identify. How do we answer this type of question? What I would like you to do is pause the video on this screen as it has the information you will need to answer this question. Concentration. Concentration is the ability to focus all of your attention on something important whilst also blocking out any distractions. Watch the video and pay particular attention to the goalkeeper. Is he concentrating? Pause the video and watch now. Now it's time to answer question two. On the next slide is a guide to answering and explain the impact question. There is also a little bit of help on Google Classroom, as you can see in the bottom right corner of the screen. Pause the video on this slide and go through the process of giving the factor, context and impact in your answer now. Motivation. Motivation is a willingness or desire to do something. In sporting terms, motivation is often linked to your mood or behaviour. After years of success, Tiger Woods faced many difficulties, including personal issues, lots of injuries and surgeries. He trained hard and didn't give up, and he eventually won the Masters again in 2019. What I'd like you to do now is watch the video from the presentation link and think about Tiger Woods motivation and what motivates him to succeed. After watching the video you're going to answer question three. In question three you're going to think about yourself and not about Tiger Woods. The scenario will be it is a cold rainy miserable day and you have asked by your teacher to run 800 meters as fast as you can. You have to explain how you would stay motivated or how you would be demotivated by this situation. You need to make sure you're really careful and tell us how you think the run would go, what was the impact on your performance and your time. How can we assess our own concentration and motivation? On the right is a performance profile wheel. Each part of the wheel represents a different sub-factor, such as motivation or concentration. You can see from the wheel that rating of 1 is poor and 10 is excellent. In this example, I've given myself in the red 8 out of 10 for concentration, which is good, and my coach, who is good on his in black, has given me a rating of 4 out of 10, and this is quite poor. The last task today will be to think of your own motivation and concentration levels when playing your favourite sport. On Google Classroom, we want you to answer question four. There will be no wheel, but we want to give yourself a one to 10 rating from poor to excellent for your levels of concentration and motivation. Think about your favourite sport. Pause the video and do this now. Thank you for paying attention. What I would like you to do now is make sure that you return this work by Tuesday the 26th of May 2020. If you have any questions or nothing was clear, make sure to ask any of the teachers on Google Classroom. Thank you.